Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to start an internet radio station and broadcast live in under five minutes. This video is sponsored by Airtime Pro. They make it easy to start your own online station and go live in just a few minutes. And I'll show you how. First of all, go to mrc.fm forward slash Airtime Pro. That will take you to this screen where you can start a free trial and no credit card is required. All the features I'm about to show you are fully available inside the free trial. And the first thing you'll get is this beautiful looking radio page. Pretty empty right now, but when we get your show up and running, this will appear here. The music playout will appear down here and it's really easy to see the schedule and everything else. Plus, you can share out tracks to social media. So a great home on the web if you don't want to design your own web page. From here, we'll log in, and here we are inside the Airtime Pro dashboard. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is click on this button here, upload a file now, as you haven't got any music tracks ready to play out. So I'll click this. You can either drag and drop your files here, or simply click and select the files on your hard disk, like this, open, and within moments, they are uploaded and ready to put into a show. So how do we get a show started? Well, first of all, you're going to need to go over to the calendar section of your menu. When you get here, find a date. Well, today's date will be fine for this. And I'm going to then click into this and it will give me the opportunity to create a show. I'll call this Mike's Show. And then we can add anything else, URL, genre, description. I'll start that now as I'd like to get going straight away. And we can also make it repeat, say if this is going to happen every Thursday, we can keep Thursday ticked and it will recur throughout this Airtime Pro calendar. So everything else is pretty good. We can add this show and straight away, there you go. You see Mike's show is added, but there's nothing playing out and there's a little exclamation mark here saying the show is empty. Click it and select schedule tracks. When we do this, we can then drag and drop any tracks we want to play out and immediately, as soon as we drop tracks in here, they start playing out on your show. So they're all dropped in now and they're going to play out in that order on the show. Click OK and you'll see up here, they're already playing out on the show. Everything is there, ready to go. Let's take a look back at the radio page. And yes, Mike's show is now on air and this is the track that's playing out. Obviously, if we don't want to say .mp3, we can edit the metadata inside our instance of Airtime Pro. So a fantastic home on the web for your radio station. The next thing we're going to want to look into is how to go live once we've mastered this. And this is available to you to start with in the settings menu. And you'll see here under settings, we've got an option that says streams. Let's click that and you'll see there is a live broadcasting section and it will auto switch to live DJ when you start broadcasting live to your instance of Airtime Pro. So this should be ticked, make sure that it is. And then you've got a transition fade, which by default is zero. I'm gonna change this to 3.5 seconds. It just gives you a nice fade into the live show rather than having an abrupt cut from whatever was playing out to your live show. So a fade, highly recommended. Once you've done that, head into the help menu and you've got many ways to broadcast your live show click to Broadcasting Live. You can then select I have broadcasting software and select whichever you have, Mix, B-U-T-T, -T, Sam Broadcaster or Nicecast. Let's take a look at Mix. And you can see here, you've got really good instructions here that show you exactly how to set it up. And you'd simply copy and paste all of the details down here into your instance of Mix to start live broadcasting. Simple as that. But it could be even easier. We're trying to do this in under five minutes, right? Well, if you click live broadcast with Rocket Broadcaster, there is a broadcast live button. Let's click it and see what happens. First of all, it asks you if you have Rocket Broadcaster installed, yes or no. If you haven't got Rocket Broadcaster installed, it's really easy to download it. You just click no, it takes you to the website, click a button and grab Rocket Broadcaster. If you've got it, click yes. It's going to ask you to open Rocket Broadcaster here. And then within seconds, it will open Rocket Broadcaster. But not only that, it will populate your station details here along with a password and everything needed to go live. So the only thing left to do to go live on the air on your new internet radio station is click Start Broadcast. 
And when that happens and you go on the air, you'll see Live DJ appears up here instead of the track that was playing out, back to your radio page, and you can see that Mike's show is now on the air with a Live DJ. It really is as simple as that to go live and, of course, start your own internet radio station, most importantly, in under five minutes. Check out Airtime Pro. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. You can go to mrc.fm forward slash Airtime Pro. Mm -hmm.